when you see images of the Taliban taking over the whole country, uh, swooping into the airport in Kabul after U.S. troops leave, I mean, there's no question that uh, the United States and, and the Afghan government uh, have, have lost this conflict that, you know, from the Taliban's perspective, they're as victorious as they could hope for. Uh, but the question is, what did we hope to accomplish? I think people remember back in 2001, after the September 11th attacks, the whole purpose of uh, going to war in Afghanistan was to attack Al-Qaeda, was to uh, eliminate the threat from Al-Qaeda, this global terrorist group, so that they couldn't carry out any more terrorist attacks against United States targets or against allies around the world. And uh, in Afghanistan, we were pretty successful with that within the first six months. Uh, by uh, April of 2002, just about all of Al Qaeda's leaders had been captured, killed, or had fled Afghanistan. They really didn't have a presence left after the spring of 2002. Uh, but from that point forward, that's when mission creep started to set in pretty quickly. And uh, as a lot of the documents show for this book, uh, very bluntly, people said we, we lost focus, uh, became unclear what our goals and objectives were, both militarily and politically and strategically. And uh, for the last 19 years, we've never really been able to set out uh, explicitly what we were hoping to accomplish in Afghanistan. I think one thing President Biden points to a lot uh, is the, the death of Osama bin Laden in 2001 when he was killed in Pakistan. And Biden says, you know, that was, that was the last thing we wanted to accomplish. But, uh, you know, and that's certainly true in terms of the original goal of dismantling al-Qaeda. But, you know, then that raises the question of what were we really trying to accomplish for the 10 years since then?